Burlington Chevrolet, how to use your tire inflator kit in your 2014 Malibu LT. You can see here that on the dash, it already says that you have an indicator light on saying that the front driver's side tire is at 27 pounds of air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our way back to the trunk to grab the tire inflator kit. You can open the trunk by using this release button here. Bring that up. And down here, you have this little latch here. You actually pull this up, you latch it onto the back of the trunk right there, so you can only hold it up while you're trying to get this out. And there's one little knob here that you gotta spin off to actually release the kit itself. Take that off, lift it right up straight, and go to the tire that needs the air. We're gonna put this one down. I already broke down the kit already, so it's a little bit easier for us. Now, on the kit itself, it actually has a little gauge there for you, so you can actually see how much air you're putting into the tire. And then you have two settings here. Now, the one to the right is for the air. Now, the one to the left is for the tire sealant, which is actually located in the kit itself, behind that black casing. Now, the tire sealant actually uses this clear tube here. We're not going to use that today, but it is available if you have a leak in your tire and you're going to need use that to seal it up. Now, I already took the valve stem cover off and now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the actual kit in itself for using the 12 volt that's in the vehicle by using this cable here. Now you have a 12 volt that's located right on the main dash here. You stick it in right there, make sure it's tight and we're going to go back out to the vehicle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the setting for the air on, make sure that's right, and we're going to use this hose, we're going to plug it up to the actual vehicle. Now make sure that's tight as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the on button. check it and see where we at for the tire pressure. I'm trying to get a good view here and it's not really there you go that's better. Now we're at 30 pounds which is a uh, pretty good actually. Maybe between 30 and 32. Now what, what's gonna happen is we're gonna come in here and unplug this and now it says that the trunk's open but the indicator light is still on. You have to drive it for about two to three miles to reset the light itself. 